So I graduated high school a number of years back with a core 40 and PTSD. And now the police keep doing welfare checks. I keep being psychiatrically hospitalized because of the after effects. Uh, school was horrible with the bullying. Uh, kids were allowed to just make fun of me like crazy. Teachers didn't care. Um, it was so bad. I, it was so bad even early on that in the second grade I wrote a suicide note, and you know the teachers didn't care to make the bullying stop. Even though I said, you know, the reason why I was writing that note was because of the bullying. You know, I've got documentation, a handwritten note from the second grade teacher saying that yeah, I was writing that note in class. So, you know, I was asking for help about the bullying, and they wouldn't do anything to stop it. And throughout uh, school, I was being psychiatrically hospitalized multiple times because of how bad the bullying was. Kids were even allowed to uh, touch me inappropriately. Um, this one kid, the first time was in middle school when this kid sexually assaulted me. And yeah, I was told back then in middle school that kids were allowed to do that to me. Yeah, that I couldn't point him out because, quote, he has rights. So I could, he, um, so kids, I took it as kids are allowed to touch me practically because I can't point out the kids that are touching me appropriately. And then in high school, I was 18 my senior year because of how cutoff date works. So when I finally reported it again, because I've been going through it all throughout high school, um, reported it, I was threatened with expulsion. So it's either I'm told that our kids can, uh, touch me inappropriately or I'm threatened with expulsion. Uh, for th reporting being subjected to sexual misconduct. Uh, just, it's horrible. I still have flashbacks. I still have nightmares every night. You know, please keep doing welfare checks. I'm trying to hang on. This is the cost of an education in the school system. School system's a failure. You can't trust teachers or staff members with the safety of your, of your kids. If this is what happens to them, they get PTSD. I'm not the only person that's ever had PTSD from school, too. And there's no compensation for people like me, you know? It's like, you got PTSD? We don't care. Just go about your life. If you can, it's like, I, I don't even know how long I can live, honestly. I'm trying to make it through, but because of school, you know, I can't remember things very well. Um, I have mood swings like crazy. Uh, much more than can be controlled with medication. You know, I suffer at work. I suffer in my daily life. I have trouble enjoying things. I have panic attacks, flashbacks. Um, it's horrible. Just because I went through public education, teachers didn't care to do anything about it. And like, just think about it. You've got an eight-year-old writing a suicide note in class saying he's being bullied and you don't want to stop the bullying. In fact, my principal, when my father went to address me being bullied to her, you know, he went to her to address me being bullied. She laughed. She literally laughed at it. So that shows what it is. The highest authority in the school is laughing at me being bullied. That shows what the school is like. So, and that was while it was legal to, you know, Federal law said you could legally, you know, expel a student for bullying. They didn't care. They don't care. And now I have to suffer the consequences that because they didn't care to help me. You know, they were, kids outside were making fun of my, my genitals. They were making fun of my weight. Um, they were making fun of my religious beliefs. They were making fun of everything. Anything, anything and everything they could think of. So, now, like I said, please keep doing welfare checks. Sometimes I call them on myself. Sometimes other, people's call them, other people call them on me. But, I, and I continue, to be, I continue to be psychiatrically hospitalized because of how bad it is. But this is the cost of an education for someone that's autistic. You know, you get PTSD. It's horrible. Because the teachers and staff, they don't care if you're being bullied. That's how dangerous school is. That's how dangerous public education is.